So, in my article, what I'm trying to, the message I'm trying to get across is that technology can be independent. It was designed to be independent in the first place. And keeping this as a prized possession, it's something tangible that I know that I can pass down to my family. And that is why I really like the idea of having these portable hard drives. I've got a backup of this stored off site. And I know that I can maintain this as my master copy. Plus, it's something tangible that I'm going to be passing down to my son, and it contains all of our family knowledge and our family history on a classification scheme. But remember when PCs were standalone? Well, guess what? They still are. It's just that we've been so caught up with all the connectivity these days that we can we seem to forget that these machines function beautifully as standalone. PCs. And after all, that's what they stand for, personal computing. Remember these? Three and a half inch floppy disk, one megabyte of information, and now we have portable hard drives with one terabyte of information. This disk, 1995, still working fine. And because I have kept and maintained this machine, I can access the information on this disk. Let's have a look. Remember that sound? Let's have a look at this Excel spreadsheet. Open that. And here we have the Excel spreadsheet. Still working. This is running on Microsoft 2003, and again, it's working fine. Microsoft are no longer uh, maintaining or upgrading XP. But because this is standalone and not connected to the net, um, I'm able to use the operating system here without any further worries. It was updated to its last, last service pack 3, and it works fine. Um, I have my scanner, and my other, and my other um, scanner here, and this is my scanning station. And this PC now operates as the main scanning centre for uh, transferring images onto my portable hard drive, which I keep portable. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought